consumed. The gentleman from Washington is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Before I speak to this amendment, I actually want to start by expressing my appreciation to the Chairman uh, for his work on this important legislation. Yeah, I grew up in Port Angeles, Washington. Uh, I saw firsthand how a downturn in the timber industry impacted our region's economy and the livelihoods of families who live there. And those experiences were a major influence in my decision to pursue a career in economic development and, and now in public service. And it's a big reason I've been working on harvest issues that impact the region that I represent. On the Olympic National Forest, I've been proud to help stand up a collaborative, bringing together a group of stakeholders from all across the spectrum to figure out how we can make real progress to rebuild the trust that we need to restore our forests and to promote harvest levels and to support our local communities. And we've begun to see some su successes come out of that. And I'm sure committed to working to help take actions that lead to better outcomes for our forests and for the local economies that rely on them as an important asset. I think the bill that uh, is before us today is an honest effort to address the real challenges that are facing our federal forests. And importantly, the underlying bill includes language that would make real progress toward ending the uh, harmful practice of, for, uh, of fire borrowing. Now, I've got some concerns about this bill that are going to keep me from supporting it today, but I am very hopeful that this is just a first step in a process that leads to compromise legislation that we can send on to the President and get signed into law and to help our forests and to help our communities. And I would welcome the opportunity to be a part of that process. Now, Mr. Chairman, the amendment that I've offered today is focused on an initiative that would support innovative wood products, including cross-laminated timber. Now, CLT products offer increased uh, use of responsibly harvested wood that could mean more jobs in rural areas of Washington State and all, uh, and all other states. Uh, these are renewable resources uh, rather than steel or concrete that would make our buildings greener. Uh, these new wood products are strong and fire resistant and may actually be safer in an earthquake than non-wood alternatives. So we can change the way our nation constructs buildings by utilizing these new sturdy wood products. More importantly, we can lead the way on a global timber revolution that can bring lower cost, environmentally friendly building materials to market, providing more job, job opportunities in rural America. So my amendment is pretty simple. Uh, it would direct the Secretary of Agriculture to develop a significant forest restoration project with the goal of generating the kind of material we can use for these advanced wood products. And I would urge my colleagues to support this amendment, and I reserve the balance of my time.